Alrighty, this is Benjamin Lupton reporting in for week 2020, week 34, uh, sharing my weekly updates. Uh, so let me share my Google Chrome. Alrighty, so I knocked off uh, the some more bug fixes so Docpad can finally be archived. Um, so now there's only one uh, plugin that I still need to sort out, uh, which is Highlight.js, which requires some updates to the Ropo package, which I've scheduled for this week because I didn't have the mental energy to deal with its complexity last week. So that's what I have scheduled for this week, but let's go in for this week. So, I mean, last week. So uh, to sort out a series of updates, I needed to uh, uh, get editions version four public published uh, because uh, there was an issue within the Docpad plugin tester that didn't, uh, for editions plugins, it wouldn't load the correct edition, um, which would cause failures and um, not the right files being detected because the plugin tester automatically detects um, which like, tester, which plugin class, and which um, tests to run. Um, and for edition plugins, we would break that detection. So we needed a way to programmatically determine which edition to fire, uh, but with custom entry points. Um, so rather than writing a whole bunch of edition autoloader files, instead I've updated um, editions with version four uh, to actually have a programmatic API that actually allows um, the plugin tester to determine uh, which edition would be compatible. So edition version four, uh, big, Great release, very good. Uh, this is a very popular package, four million downloads a month. Uh, so very happy that I was able to pull that off. And we can see within the plugin tester, um, it now uses it. So we will require additions uh, and we will determine the addition, um, which is good. And additions version four also works towards Dino and browsing compatibility should be version agnostic, which is a big win. Um, so for the docpad stuff, that leaves this highlight JS and which requires an update to Ropo to finish. Um, is there anything in there that's concerning? Uh, no. All right. Wasn't meant to share that tab. Alrighty. So the other thing is, uh, with that update to the plugin tester, I was able to release, uh, updates for the less plugin, the partials plugin, the downloader plugin. Uglify plugin, Node SAS plugin, SAS plugin, Sitemap plugin, Feeder plugin, GH Pages plugin, Serv plugin, Clean URLs plugin, and Page plugin. Um, the Serv plugin uh, got quite a lot of updates. Uh, it now has proper tests, it now properly works. Um, so, big win there as well. And the benchmark plugin, sorry, the benchmark project for Docpad, which was used to test Docpad performance, we see here with a legacy version of Docpad, um, rendering a thousand echo documents took 47 seconds, uh, but with the latest ecosystem, uh, it only takes six seconds. So big win there. Um, it's great to finally be able to archive all of this in a stable condition. Um, and yeah, Ropo fixes schedule for next week now projects uh that's i was able to update that um so now it'll um do a sky pack because uh, pika was rebranded a sky pack um so it'll now use sky pack instructions uh going forward um so that's that's it for that week and for this week coming up uh still sorting out should be the final week my god i hope so of sorting out the technical debt so then we can start resuming projects again or at least i can start resuming projects again so we got the ropo fixes got to update highlight js task groups conversion typescript uh to add uh and be promise support um and then which will be pulled into event emitter groups uh which will then be pulled into uh Kava. So this is a big chain of work to happen uh, and it'll be, be quite a huge win because that means all the very projects will get um, promise support um, built into them 
Uh, so it will support callbacks and promises. Uh, and our tests can finally use promises and run on Dino and all the rest of this stuff. It, this will be a tremendous win for the Dino node and browser and test you know ecosystems because it gains access to a task runner and um, great testing uh, infrastructure. Uh, SafePS should be converted to TypeScript. I've already commenced um, this work more or less uh, many years ago. You need to just push it up. This is the thing. I've got all this work that is done many years ago, but things have always interrupted. So I'm just sorting out all of this backlog and then I'll be free without all this anxiety and dread of previous half finished projects. Um, pull in the GitHub sponsors in a project so that way um, the current sponsors will be pulled into all the every projects when they get updated. This should have been done years ago, but again, if you're not getting paid that much or only five dollars a week, well, things take a while. Um, and then update make addition for Skypack, custom package matching, custom custom package mapping, uh, assembler uh, polyfill map, as well as uh, update for the stand node util update because my um, pull request to Dino to add util dot inspect to the node to the Dino node compatibility layer was merged. So that's a big win. Um, so that will be, uh, that's released, will be released for this week, fingers crossed. Uh, so it should be good for this week and then next week, finally get back to product work, which is what we really want. Um, also shout out to uh, John for his uh, live stream, uh, the, what you did on the Beverly Study channel uh got a lot of views on that and our previous live streams were have been doing pretty well the borderless one um and the christchurch manifesto one so good work for everyone there and good work for submit for getting his valid directory um typescript conversion released Alrighty, uh that's me signing out thanks everybody bye